Hi, this is Mark with Heaven's Gems for our pathway. And you know, I just wanted to share just like a real quick gem that's very, very brief. And I'm going to pull this from the book of Proverbs chapter 9. And there are two women located in this chapter that Song, uh, Solomon himself is talking about. And I thought I'd just pull some gems from this that might be of help for those of us that are walking this pathway of faith for our Lord Jesus. And I'd like to just read the first six verses for, for, for starters here. And this is again Proverbs 9 verse 1. Wisdom hath builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has sent forth her maidens. She crieth upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, or lacks understanding, she said to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. So this first six verses is the woman of wisdom. And this is very, very beautiful to see this. But I'd like to, before making any comments on that particular woman, let's jump on down to verse 13. Here we have what I call the queen of folly. Verse 13, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. As she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city to call passengers who go right on their ways, Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that wanteth understanding, she said to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that her guests are in the depths of hell. So I'd like to just compare these two women here for just a moment. Look at uh, the first woman here, the woman of wisdom. We see here in verse 2, she has thrown out elaborate tables. She's killed her beast. She's got the meat built. She's got the special wine laid out, and she's also furnished her table. A tremendous feast, a feast that brings in friendship, fellowship, satisfaction is what, that, is what the large banquets have, right? And then verse 3 says she sends forth her maidens. So she's sending out criers out in the city. The invitation goes out to all to come and it's very very elaborate in what she's doing and she's inviting those that are simple those that lack understanding to come in and and eat of her banquet and says in verse 5 come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which i've mingled beautiful to see that she's given this feast and she's inviting those to come in and then it says forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding so there are some things that there's life that she's talking about she's wanting wanting those that, to come in to enjoy to have fellowship to have happiness but let's take a look how does the queen of folly operate well we read there in verse 13 she's clamorous and she what does it say knoweth nothing she's simple knoweth nothing she sits in her own doorstep and she's just calling out to everybody going by to come on in but what is she offering she's offering stolen waters and bread eaten in secret stolen waters cheap stuff it's cheap it's been stolen and she's offering bread eaten in secret there's where's the fellowship because we're all now now she's just wanting everybody to to eat by themselves the stuff that she has to offer and notice here too she doesn't give the full story her her offer is she doesn't her offer is to eat in solidarity and to eat in simpleness and eat by herself but then she says but the scripture says that solomon says the very last verse but he knoweth not that the dead are there. She doesn't give the full story. She doesn't give the full story that there, there's those simple ones that are passing by. The, one, the woman here in the last of this chapter had to bypass the first feast. The first feast, come, come, eat, eat of my bread and drink of my wine and my feast tables. That woman, and if you pass right by that feast table, if you pass by that, then you come to the queen of folly. And the queen of folly is as asking you to come in secretly, and yet this hidden secrets in chat in verse eighteen, and he knoweth not that the dead are there and that are guests in the depths of hell, and that way has an end to it. It's an end to it that you can you can check out, but you can never leave, as they say. And you know this reminds me too. 
I'm not going to read it, but if you want to just jot down a couple verses, you can go to the Gospel of John in the New Testament and look at the Lord Jesus crying out. And he did the same thing. He was crying out to come in and eat of him. It says in John 6, verse 35, he that comes to me shall never hunger. John 6, 35. Look at verse 37 as well. Him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. So the Lord Jesus in the Gospel of John is laying out the invitation to come unto him as well. And then um, John 7, verse 37, he that cometh to me uh, shall never thirst. Never thirst. So we have uh, John 6, 35 and 37, that's the bread. He's the bread of heaven. And then in John 7, 37, he's the water, living waters. If we come to him, living waters. And then, of course, last verse that I'll mention in John 11, John 11, verse uh, 25 and 26, I am the resurrection and the life. Now that is beautiful, dear friend, dear brother in Christ or sister in Christ. That's beautiful to know that the Lord Jesus is offering the same thing. And I just wanted to bring forth these two women of uh, women noted in Proverbs 9, the woman of folly at the very end, and you'd have to pass by the first woman. Again, the first woman is the woman of wisdom. And if you just want to get a handle of the woman of wisdom, just read a few chapters before. Chapter 8, uh, chapter 9, rather, of Proverbs is the very last chapter dealing with the wisdom. And you can go through and see the woman detailed out in the chapters prior as well or at least wisdom wisdom in this day and age we have got folly floating through the air it's coming through the internet it's coming everywhere we're getting the the boisterous stuff that's being given to us that should be done in secret and it's being laid out there as that woman of folly is and yet the woman of wisdom saying just come and i've got it and the lord jesus is saying come Come, eat of me, and drink of me. So that's a quick little gem here I just wanted to share out of, uh, out of Proverbs 9 and to see our Lord Jesus. Even in the Proverbs, we can see he's crying out that those that are simple to learn of him and learn wisdom and learn the life uh, everlasting. If you've got any comments or questions, just ping me below, and we'll see you on the next Gems for Our Pathway.